Hello everybody, welcome to me and my golf and in today's video we have a special guest who's going to share with us three drills that helped him win six times on the European Tour. Fantastic, cannot wait for this. Let's take charge of your game. Simon, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you so nice much for joining you. us. Nice to see you. It's great to have you here. I know you've made the transition recently into coaching. Um, but you're going to share with us some of the the, the drills that have made a huge difference in your golfing life. You've had an amazing career on the European Tour, and you're going to share with the viewers and us three drills that are going to hopefully help them as well, but hopefully, well, not hopefully, that help you be really successful on the tour. The gold. This is the gold it that is the everyone's gold looking for right now. No pressure. <laughs> this is the one Pete Cowan doesn't want me to give away. Oh, really? really? <laughs> yeah. Superb. So let's get into the, the first drill then, Simon, in terms of, and I know you, we sort of spoke off camera, the, the one drill that maybe an, as an amateur really made a difference to you. Yeah, the one drill for me was I used to have quite a lot of backward sway in my swing. So when my timing was off, um, you could you could see with the dispersion of the ball. So the, the one very simple drill for me that he gave me was just literally feet together and get the get the relation of the upper upper body and lower body working properly. OK, and it just gave me my timing back. Brilliant. Well, just, have a look. Yeah, yeah, show us through yeah. That. yeah. And we have to talk about these grips. We won't do it in this YouTube video, but we'll perhaps do an Instagram post on this, Andy. I so thought he had a putter grip on there. Go and check it out. Those yeah. grips are super thick. Yeah. But yes, just, I mean, just even just demonstrate the sway maybe, which is what you yeah, used to have so possibly. Yeah, so I was literally, I'd stand up to the ball and my first movement, instead of the club going away, would be that. OK. So that would be my first movement. So straight away, I'm going that way, my hands are going that way, it was adding loft onto the club yeah. and then and then the club followed. But like I said, if my timing was off any day, then that was the day that I really struggled on the course. Okay. Okay. So Pete literally just used to say to me, right, get your feet together, stand up nice and tall, and you're literally just gonna hit shots, hit little three quarter shots, feet together. You can't go anywhere your balance has got to be perfect yeah. and hit shots in balance. And all of a sudden, like, I started hitting shots like that and then I'd go back to my swing and my first movement all of a sudden was that okay. and not that. Of course. So We it, love this, don't we, Andy? Because it is, any, like you say, anybody who's too much this way in the back swing or too much this way in the through swing, this is a perfect way of putting that rotary component in. I think literally any golfer on the planet can relate to this drill. Yeah. You know, your 36 handicapper to your... European tour player. Should we watch you hit one? Right. Let's yeah. have a look I'll at this. Because, I mean, distance wise on this, what do you distance recommend wise, for the viewers? I mean, I've got a 9 iron. It normally goes like 162. So I'm probably hitting this 100 yards. Perfect. Just a nice little 60, 65% shot. Nice. It's a bit Work. breezy around here today as well. So we've got a bit into the breeze. <laughs> literally, feet literally touching. And then you're just going to. A nice little. Beautiful. And I think as well, when we get people doing this, we start seeing maybe even draws for the first time. Absolutely. So someone who's cutting across it, leaving the, the blade open, straight away this gets your arms actually to do a better job. I think the best thing about this one is the feedback. You know when you've not done it right. There we go. Because you'll literally start falling all over the yeah, place. Yeah. But when you actually swing in balance yeah. and you get your timing right, you'll, you'll start noticing your strikes a lot better as well. How simple it's, is that? It's a great drill that forces you to do the right movement. We're all for drills like that. that actually just make you actually do the, yeah. the movement that we want. Okay, so that's the first drill. Let's go to the second drill. What's the next one? So the second drill was, again, it, it was in relation to the sway that I had. Mm -hmm. And I would, I'd tend to go back, but then I'd really want to get on my left side a bit too fast. And to stop me almost early extending, it okay. was literally another balanced one again, just standing on my right foot. Left foot can touch the ground, so there's a bit of a balance point, help you a little bit there. And I used to want to get over the ball a bit more. I used to be quite on my heels. So again, this one's just a little, all the weights on your right side, but you can't go anywhere again. Of course, yeah, yeah. Again, so again, little, little three quarter shots, but as you hit the ball, you notice you really open up and get the body facing the target instead of you know, that early extension. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, hit one of these then. Right, so again, okay, yardage wise, probably again, similar. Very similar, very okay. similar. I think once you start trying to hit hit it too hard, that's when you really struggle to do the drill. And I think you lose lose your balance, lose your momentum almost, so. Were you about to say you haven't done this drill for a while? I haven't done this one for a while. <laughs> Are we safe here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You're right there, you stand there, you're right there. So again, all the weight on the right side, 
almost nearly lift your foot off, left foot off, and then just plant it on the ground. Just lightly, light, light, very, light pressure, yeah? Very lightly, and then literally just... Beautiful, I mean, just hold there if you can. I mean, look at this. You can't get any more open through the golf ball than that, and your arms haven't actually gone into a big high finish. No. It's been all body, which is uh, All brilliant. body, which I think you kind of see that with Tommy Fleetwood as well, don't you? You know, when he finishes like that. Yeah. You know, club's not getting away from him, his body's facing the target. Yeah, absolutely. It just shows kind of after you've hit the ball, keeping it in control. McElroy does it better than anybody. He does. Just, just hit another one, just, just a normal shot, not actually the drill, because it'd be nice to see this in a slow-mo. Let's just see what your normal swing looks like and okay. obviously how the drills can transpire into that. So drill, I try and get nine nine, middle of my feet, and then just... Yeah, you, can see the, you can see the leg work and the hip work there, fantastic. Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah, good rotation on the way back. That one well. Yeah. <laughs> you sound surprised, Simon. There. I, I am. I you am. shouldn't be surprised. You've won six <laughs> times at all. Okay, so that's two drills down. Let's go to the third and final one. I, I think you've, you sort of give us a hint of what you're going to do with this. Oh, one. my third one is my favourite drill, and you see, you see quite a few guys doing it nowadays still on tour. Um, this one is the cack-handed drill. So it's you grip it as though you're going to hit a left-handed shot. Okay, cack-handed. It just does three or four brilliant things for your golf swing. Firstly, it keeps your left arm nice and straight, nice and extended, tucks that right elbow in, so you know you, know you don't get the chicken wing or anything yeah. like that. Tucks it all in. You can't over swing, so it shortens your swing. And then when you're coming down, you, you automatically put your hands back in the same place that they were in, because if you went like that, yeah. You'd really feel it. Yeah. You'd miss the ball as well. Yeah, that'll be us. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. us. And it's just, it's just a really good one for keeping. If you find that you have high hands at impact, this is a great one yeah. for keeping that left hand nice and low through impact. And um, yeah, I just think this it, was this was the one. one. I think this was the one that literally changed my career. Yeah. Really, amazing, really. It's yeah. a pretty powerful statement there. I yeah. like that. I really like that. And we've <laughs> tried this, and it's really difficult. So I mean, if anyone wants to have a go at this, do you recommend that they start small, maybe on some chip shots? I would start small. Just start on chip shots because it, like we're saying, it is a very hard drill to yeah. go and hit a 50, 60, 70 yard shot yeah. straight away. I mean, I've seen topos whiff it yeah. five or six times trying to hit it too hard yeah so just start small that makes us feel a little bit better i mean that, that was the challenge was on the 11th wasn't it yeah. I, and i've seen you do this before on the range at tournaments i've seen uh, matt fitzpatrick do this and you kind of make it look real simple you're just sort of pinging these balls out there but i know that pete focuses a lot on the shoulders pete can focuses a lot on the shoulders about loading the shoulders as you said for that right arm there when yeah. it's tucked in tucked in like this yeah that shoulder really is doing exactly what he wants it is and like you say fitzy fitzy does the split grip and he gets both hands on top and you're constantly seeing him kind yeah. of getting it in that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, almost really laid off. Yeah. Uh, but then when it comes to hit his shot, I mean, he's yeah. perfect. Okay. You better hit one, aren't you, really? Yeah. Have you oh, hit this? Maybe, 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 <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe you want to hit it, Pierce, instead. No, I don't. So I'm just going to see if we can get see it. Yeah, low and get yeah, the arms I love come that. on the way through as well, Pierce. I love that. Oh, he's just hit the best one. That is the best one. Little draw against the wind. I want to see him do it on one leg pierce as well. We, uh, just tested him out. May as well just give that KLM trophy again then right now, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Superb. Okay, so I mean, I think the, the good thing with this is some pretty simple things that we can look at here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I think I'd just like to see you hit one more shot. Oh, I think sorry, you, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we we'll hit one more shot if you can and just demonstrate that whole, but normal shot now. Oh, okay. Shot, yeah. So what, almost talking about what all three do or yeah, just, you just want the one shot yeah just what the one shot one okay. good shot so the guys can sort of see again how that sort of transpires into the whole golf swing okay we'll look okay. at that right shoulder we'll see that right arm we'll look yeah. at the hips we'll look at the clearance on the way through it's quite good actually because Simon was probably thinking that he was making sure he was doing all those things <laughs> yeah, correctly was, yeah <laughs> it's like right I gotta was. get it perfect it's now. a good practice session for you Simon <laughs> this, isn't it, uh, more well. balls than I've hit for a while <laughs> Superb. Should we have now. a go with this cack handed drill? Do you want to have a go now? I don't want to, but I think we should. Please do. Okay, right, go on. <laughs> yeah, you I go you have a go first. Oh, wow. Stand jumbo? that side. With the jumbo, with the jumbo as well, yeah? We've got tea. Here's a tea. Oh, thank you. I can tell you where this is going before he even actually uh, hits the shot here. I bet you. <laughs> okay. So, we haven't had any warmth for this. And we did. We, we did this challenge. And I think we just shanked it all up the right hand yeah. side of the fairway, didn't yeah. we? I just love though, straight away, like the position you got that top of your backswing there. It's like. I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, and I, when I do this drill, 
Well, when I've had a go at it, I just love the feeling of my right arm because the right arm cannot help but actually sort of work oh, in. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's the feeling that I, yeah. I like from that. Okay. I'm going to stop thinking about what to do. And just, just address do it, it at the toe, Piers. <laughs> stop thinking about what to do and just... Oh, there we oh, go. There that we went go. straight and it was out the toe. <laughs> okay. These grips are actually quite good. All right. Oh, go, 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 make it over the water. You're dry. You're dry. I don't think Andy yeah. is going to make it over the water. That's why I wanted it over the water. <laughs> oh. So I might you stand over there so you can get a better look. <laughs> uh, on that side. <laughs> I'm teeing up nice I actually and hit high. that out the toe though, I think. Did you really? I think I did, I think yeah. Did. It wasn't actually, that was, a, that wasn't actually, actually a, I was I was a bit sure if I got the right grip then, but okay. <laughs> wasn't actually a heel strike. Try right. and take a divot with it. Try and take a divot. And that's the yeah. feeling with this, yeah? Yeah, Okay. It, and it's when you start it for the first time, the minute you start taking a divot with that, it's just getting the club down on the ball. That a makes lot sense. Quicker. That makes sense. <laughs> yes, it's in the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was exactly what I expected. Yeah, well, but to, I think you need some more practice. I on think that. so, I think so. But definitely with this on. drill, I mean, you might look at this now and go, well, hang on a bit, why would I want to do something like this? As you say, you start small and then you figure out what the feelings that you're getting, if you like those feelings. And if you're someone who's doing all this sort of yeah. stuff in the golf swing, cupping the wrist, getting the face open, this is a really good feeling and drill for you. I think the one for the chipping as well, you'll surprise yourself how quickly you can get the Pops ball up, up in yeah. the air. Okay. You know, for somebody who maybe yeah, has yeah. a bit of flash speed and, you yeah. know, gets it shooting out low, quite spinny, it surprises you how high you can actually get the ball yeah. because the, the club's been delivered properly and you can almost get it past your hands and yeah. makes and it, it easy it, to hit the flop. It point. might even be the alternative to actually chipping as opposed to going that way. It way. might do. I, I know a few guys who do it, to be honest. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. Simon, thank you so much. Thanks, gents. I know so you're making that transition you. into coaching now full time. Uh, where can the guys sort of um, find a bit more about you? Uh, just head, I've got a website, um, elitegolfperformance.co.uk. Head over there, it kind of gives a rundown as to what I do. I'm doing like the fitness side of it and the transition from, you know, the gym straight to the uh, driving range, getting them warmed up properly, okay. improving their, you know, their movement limitations and then just helping them perform better really. Yeah, so the whole performance side of things really. Absolutely. We'll put all the Fantastic. links in the description. Make sure you follow Simon on social media as well. We'll put those links down there. And uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll speak to you soon. Thank you.